the blessings of faithfulness. Number one, abundance. Number one, abundance or prosperity. Proverbs 28 verses 20. When you are faithful, you can't escape abundance. People want faithful people. Faithful people are rare. So when you become one, you will be paid so much. You will be taken care of because of your faithfulness. Because a faithful man shall abound with blessing. He shall have blessings in abundance. Number two, he will have preferential treatment and promotion. Preferential treatment and promotion is the second blessings of being faithful. Nehemiah 7 and verse 2. When you are faithful, people will prefer you. People will want to work with you because you are faithful. God's word says that I gave my brother Hanan and Hananiah, the ruler of the palace, church over Jerusalem, for he was a faithful man and feared God above many. He was faithful above many, so he was given church over Jerusalem. Promotion, preferential treatment because of being faithful. You want to be lifted in your life, please begin to be faithful. If you are told to be uh, uh, in a place in a particular time, don't be late. Do it. Number three, divine preservation. You are preserved by being faithful. Psalms 31 verse 23. Psalms 31 in verse 23. Oh, love the Lord, O oh ye saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewarded the proud doer. God preserves faithful people. God preserves faithful people from danger, from failure, from losses, and so forth. I have never forgotten one time I had this preacher say uh, that um, uh, in, a member in the church was unfaithful in tithing. And uh, he said that shortly, shortly, rats, rats, they entered the house of that unfaithful person. He was so unfaithful that this person could not even trust the banks to keep the money. So rats went and ate money and left just pieces. And then the person comes to the man of God. I don't know what is wrong. Rats have come. They only ate money. They did not eat food. They just came, ate my money. How much was it? Mentioned thousand. Then looked at the tithing record. Not even a penny. And the man of God says, don't worry. Those are devourers. They came on assignment from God. <laughs> they were assignment. They were assigned. Go and eat that money so that that person can humble down. Please don't wait for problems to be humbled. Just walk in faithful. Say, I will be faithful. Say, I will be faithful. May you be preserved. Number four, divine presence. Divine presence. When you are walking faithfulness, God's presence shall always follow you. Psalms 101 verse 6. Psalms 101 and verse 6. The Bible says, Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the Lord. God is interested on the faithful. His eyes shall be upon you. So when God is looking at you, what do you do? think he will do to the enemies who are after you? He will deal with them very, very fast. Divine presence. Number five. Faithful people are a refreshment wherever they are. They refresh. They refresh. When you are surrounded with faithful people, you are refreshed because they are not burdened. Burdens. Proverbs 25 verse 13. Proverbs 25 and verse 13. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him. For he refreshes the soul of his masters. When you are faithful, you are a refreshment. That I, Somebody doesn't have to worry that a certain duty, a certain valuable thing is under your care. He is at peace. He knows it is okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you have a faithful person, if you have a faithful house help, and you leave your child with them, you are refreshed. You are not afraid that your child will be tortured or, you know, mishandled. You are at peace. 
when you leave your money in the custody of so somebody you are at peace you know that money will be safe hallelujah refreshment and then number 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 6 giving us eight number 6 you are given leadership grace when you are faithful you are entrusted with the leadership not everybody can be a leader because the qualifications for leadership requires faithfulness in this commission if you are not a tither you cannot be a leader of any department is a requirement we check for your faithfulness if we notice you are not faithful in tithing you cannot be anywhere around leading you are just a follower be following instructions you cannot lead matthew 25:21 Those people who are faithful are always entrusted with the leadership for his lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler yes when you are faithful you lead you're given the grace to be a leader number 6 7 number 7 is open doors are granted to access your own possession open doors are granted to access your possession because of being faithful luke 16 verse 11 and verse 12 when you are faithful then doors open so that you finally have your own that is where you see somebody was a teacher and then god gives that person a school somebody was a house help and then god gives you your own house somebody was employed in a certain work then god gives you a company because when you are faithful in wherever you are serving you adore for you to possess your own is granted if therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon who will commit to your trust the true riches verses 12 And if you have not been faithful in that which is another man's who shall give you that which is your own so when you are faithful your own is also released finally number 8 favor transgenerational favor transgenerational favor you are entrusted with a favor that goes beyond your life span you are fa- you are blessing they go to the next generation as in second timothy chapter 2 verses 2 when you are faithful you are given blessings that will tra, uh, trans tra, uh, will surpass your life span and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others it was given to one but it did not end with them it went ahead by being faithful brethren i have a prayer that every one of us we shall walk in faithfulness i want you to stand up and let's pray maybe you can begin by praying for yourself lord the blessing i have denied myself by being unfaithful forgive me today make that your prayer oh god the blessings that i have denied myself by being unfaithful today forgive me in the mighty name of jesus christ are you praying Are you praying that prayer? Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Only you know how whether you have been faithful or you are unfaithful. Pray for yourself, Lord. I don't want to be a bad steward. I don't want to work in bad stewardship. I hate poverty and I want to conquer it this the, the, this man. Oh Lord, deliver me from unfaithfulness. Deliver me from bad stewardship. Touch my life. bless my life beginning today oh lord change me in the name of jesus christ father i pray release the grace of being faithful in this commission release the grace of being faithful upon everyone that has had this word let this word produce faithful men and women i release the grace to walk in absolute faithfulness in jesus mighty name and every poverty that has been a sponsor by bad stewardship because we are changing i command you power of poverty live our life live our life in jesus wonderful name i pray Amen. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise.